Hello guys, in this video I would love to share with you how to create a new Spring Boot project in Visual Studio Code or VS Code. So after watching this video, you will be able to develop Java Enterprise applications based on the Spring Framework. I am Nam Haming at CodeJava.net. Let's get started. Let me open Visual Studio Code on my computer. As you can see here, Visual Studio Code. Okay, and you see, normally when we want to create a new project, we go to the search bar here and type the command here. For example, create a new Java project. If I type Spring here, you see it shows no matching commands file, uh, meaning that uh, by default, Spring um, Boot support is not uh, provided by Visual Studio Code. In other words, uh, in order to create a new Spring Boot project, develop Spring Boot projects in Visual Studio Code, we need to install some extensions. So, open the extensions view here, and in the search box, type Spring Boot. Then you can see there are several results, such as Spring Boot Dashboard, Spring Boot Tools, Spring Boot Extension Box, Spring Initializer Java Support, and it is recommended to install the Spring Boot extension pack, which is a collection of extensions for developing Spring Boot applications. This extension is recommended, as you can see here, and it consists of three individual extensions. The first one is Spring Boot Tools, that provides IDE Java tooling for developing and troubleshooting Spring Boot applications, editing application configuration properties files such as dot properties and jamo and the second extension is spring initializer java that provides support for generating quick start spring boot java projects with the spring initializer api and the last one is spring boot dashboard that provides an explorer in the cyber where you can view all of the uh, workspace spring boot projects conveniently in one place Okay, so click the install button here to start installing this extension extension back. Okay, just a moment. Okay, the installation is complete and now we can create a new Spring Boot project. Go to the search bar here and type create a site Spring. Then you can see there are many options for creating Developing Spring Boot application, Spring Boot projects, and to create a new Spring Boot project, choose Spring Initializer, create Java Maven project. Okay, and then choose the Spring Boot version. By default, the latest stable version is recommended as of May 2025. The latest stable version of Spring Boot is 3.4.5. Okay, and next choose the project language, I choose Java, and then enter the group ID for the project, for example, net.codejava, hit enter, and then enter the artifact ID, for example, my Spring app, hit enter, and then choose the packaging type is Java, and choose Java version, I choose Java version 21, and then select the dependencies, you can see some dependencies listed here. For a sample simple Spring Boot project that provides a simple REST API, I choose Spring Web. Okay, and when done, click press enter to continue. You can choose more dependencies in the list here. Yeah. Of course, you can always add more dependencies later. So I hit enter here to continue. And then choose a folder to store the project. I create a new folder Spring Boot project click create and click generate into this folder okay and it is generating a new spring boot project successfully here you can see successfully generated at this location click open button to open the project in explorer view and click yes i trust the authors okay here we go a new spring boot project my spring app got generated in the explorer view and we can explore the generated code this is the main class 
as you can see here it is used to bootstrap to launch a Spring Boot application as you can see the main method run a new Spring Boot application here and this is the application configuration file and initially it uh, configures the application name my Spring app and it also generated a test class which, which can be skipped okay and then next is the maven project file this is a pom.html file that uh, specifies the project definition as you can see Spring Boot starter this is a version of Spring Boot being used in the project and artifact ID, group ID, version, name, description and the java version and the dependencies information you can see as uh, Spring Boot starter web is added and it automatically added the Spring Boot Starter test. If you want to add more Spring Boot Starter or more dependencies, you can click Add Spring Boot Starter. Yeah. Okay, that's it. A very simple, a basic, empty Spring Boot project. So you can start. Now let me create a new Java class here, new file. Enter the name is my controller.java controller.java to create a new uh, java class let me rename my controller.java ok and then sorry my mistake I need to create again so it will generate the code right click here new file and enter my controller.java ok it automatically generate the skeleton code for the for new class and for the sake of simplicity and demo purpose I create a new REST controller class here that will expose an API endpoint the endpoint is uh, handled by this method public string hello okay and in this handler method uh, simply return hello Spring Boot. Okay, and to expose this as an API endpoint, we use the get mapping annotation, and the path is slash hello. You can see uh, it automatically uh, fill in the code completion here, uh, which is not needed. So I delete the generated one and keep only the get mapping annotation here. So you see a uh, very basic and simple Spring Boot uh, controller, Spring controller, REST controller class. Okay. Okay, and now we are ready to run this first Spring Boot application. Go to the main class, or you can click the Boot dashboard on the sidebar here to see the available Spring Boot applications. And you can see it provide three views that let developers to explore the serving, running serving boot applications here and the bins in each application and the endpoint mappings here you can see it automatically detects the endpoint slash hello in the my controller class okay to run this serving boot application in the apps under the apps section here click the run button here okay you see uh, our spring boot application is up and running you can see the spring boot logo here in the console and here it says tomcat started on port number 80 80 with the context path is empty okay and to test this api out we can uh, test right inside our terminal so click here to open a new terminal mm, okay i choose this one okay Okay, and I type this command using the curl command line to, to test the API localhost port number 8080 and the API endpoint is slash hello and use the V flag to see the details of the request and response. Okay, you see it connected successfully to the server and you can see the request get slash hello and the response is stated to a well okay and the response body is hello spring boot this is a result of the uh, execution of the rest controller my controller the hello method here 
and we can also test uh, inside a web browser so let me open my web browser Chrome browser here and uh, open developer tools more tools developer tools here okay and now enter local host port number 880 slash hello then you can see it returns the response in the body hello spring boot and then in the developer tools you can uh, explore the details uh, let me hit enter code api again then you can see the details of the request headers and response headers the yeah, response headers request headers and response body hello spring boot okay so far so good right so that's a very simple way to create a code be when run a spring boot application inside visual studio code now to stop the running application click right click here stop or you can click the stop button here okay so to create another spring uh, boot application spring boot project you choose spring initializer here create maven project and then fill in the project details press escape key to uh, exit okay so far you have seen how to create a new spring boot project in visual studio code or vs code let me sum up the key points you need to install the Supreme Boot extension back that consists of three individual extensions in order to create a code, a build, and run the Supreme Boot projects. And choose new Supreme Initializer project and fill in the project details, choose the references, and then enjoy coding. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to support the channel. Like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.